Welcome YouTubers to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review of prime factorization, which is a topic that frequently appears in the mathematics knowledge subtest of both the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB, as well as the PICAT. More specifically, I'm going to work out six practice test questions that should closely mirror what you should expect to see on your test. In case you haven't seen this topic in a while, I want to start with the definition. So prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. And in order to do this, you use what's called a factor tree. And I also want to point out that there are eight prime numbers under 20, notably 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So in order to do prime factorization, we're going to use the prime numbers under 20 as well as a factor tree. And as you'll see in a minute, that's really all there is to it. So as I do in all my videos, we're going to start with some very easy practice test questions. Once we get the hang of those, we'll move on to the practice test questions that should closely mirror what you should expect to see on the actual ASVAB and PICAT. So for these first three, the question is, what is the prime factorization of the number? So for number one, we're trying to find the prime factorization of 12. And again, to do that, we need two things, our factor tree and to know our prime numbers under 20. What are the two factors of 12? Well, two times six is 12. Uh, two is prime, so we can't break that down any further. But the factors of six are two and three. Now, how do we identify our prime factors from this factor tree? Well, two is prime, two is prime, and three is prime. In other words, two times two times three are the prime factors of 12. If you multiply those together, you get two times two is four times three is 12. So the prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three. Now let's say some of you uh, did this one the other way. You said the two factors of 12 are three and four. Again, three is prime, so we can't break it down any further. And what about four? Four has two factors, notably two and two. Two and two are prime. So what are the prime factors in this factor tree? Three, two, and two. And all we have to do is multiply those together. Again, that's two times two times three. So the prime factorization of 12 when we use three and four, as you can see, is the same exact thing. All right, let's do one that's a little bit more challenging. So we're trying to find the prime factorization of 42. Many of you would say that 42 is uh, seven times six. Again, seven is prime, so we can't break this down any further. And six has two factors, notably two and three. Uh, how do we identify the prime factors from this factor tree? Again, that's seven, two, and three. And therefore, we know the prime factorization of 42 is two times three times seven. So that is our answer for that one. And again, if you multiply these together, two times three is uh, six, seven times six is 42, you get 42. Let's find the prime factorization of 60 now. And I'm going to start by saying uh, 5 times 12 is 60. 5 is prime, so I can't break that down any further. Uh, 12 can be broken down into 3 times 4, and 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2. Here are our prime numbers in our factor tree. So the prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. If you multiply that all out, you'll get 60. Now let's say you did this one differently than this. Let's say you broke down 60 into 4 times 15. Well, again, the process is the same. 4 is not prime, so we could break it down into 2 times 2. 15 isn't prime. It can be broken down into uh, 3 times 5. So uh, what are the prime factors in our factoring tree? It's 2, 2, 3, and 5. So the prime factorization when we break down 60 this way is the same. It's 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. All right, so now let's move on to some practice test questions that should more closely mirror what you should expect to see on the actual ASVAB and PICAT. This first question says, how many distinct prime factors are there in 120? So the first thing we have to do to answer this one is find the prime factorization of 120. I'm going to break this down into 2 times 60. Again, 2 times 60 is 120. 2 is prime, so we can't break it down. Uh, 60, I'm going to break down into 2 times 30. 30, I'm going to break down into 2 times uh, 15. And then 15, I'm going to break down into 3 
times 5. All right, so what are our prime factors in this factoring tree? 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. So the prime factorization of 120 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now, that's not the question here. The question says, how many distinct prime factors are there? Distinct means different. So 2 repeats itself 3 times. So there's only 1, 2 that's distinct, 1, 3 that's distinct, and 1, 5 that's distinct. So there are 3 distinct prime factors in 120. So this one is going to be B3. Number 2 says, what is the sum of the prime factors of 140? So in order to find the sum of the prime factors, we first have to find the prime factorization of 140. And to get started, I'm going to say uh, the two factors of 140 are 2 and 70. All right, let's break down 70 further. 70 is 2 and 35. And 35 is going to be uh, 5 times 7. All right, so what are the prime factors of 140? It's 2. 2, 5, and 7. So the prime factorization of 140 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. That's not what the question is asking, though. It's asking you to find the sum of the prime factors of 140. So in other words, we're going to do 7 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2. Let's do that very quickly. 7 and 5 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the sum of the prime factors of 140 is B16. All right, so number three says, what is the prime factorization of 198? Since 198 ends in an even number, I know two goes into 198. To find the other factor, I'm going to do 198 divided by two. Two goes into 19 nine times without going over. Two times not is 18. 19 minus 18 is one. Drop down this eight. Two times nine is exactly 18. In other words, 2 times 99 is 198. Let's continue breaking down 99. You could say that's 11 times 9. And then let's continue breaking down 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So what is the prime factorization? Well, identify your prime factors in the factoring tree. We have 2, 11, 3, and 3. So the prime factorization is going to be 2 times 3 times 3 times 11. And we should see that this is going to be answer choice C in this case. All right, so that's really all there is to prime factorization. Use a factor tree, break down a number into its prime factors, and multiply those prime factors together. Um, again, this topic does frequently appear on the ASVAB and PiCAT, so make sure you understand it before test day. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut you loose.